there's a song on right now. Something happening here. What it is ain't exactly clear. Stop. What's that sound? <clears throat> Something's going on. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I love seeing all of these happy faces. I was sitting here just a minute ago, like looking at all the comments already. Like just like, oh God, I love you guys. I'm so glad to be here again. Ah, I'm just gonna breathe you in. I love that you guys are all as excited about my new goodies as I'm excited. And um, I don't know why. I don't know what it is about this deck. Guys, seriously, I wish I could turn my camera around so you could see my shelves that I put up on my wall that have all of my decks of cards up 60 fucking decks I have um but there's something about this one I don't know what it is I've always wanted to do an unboxing also and um I've never done one I <laughs> I can't wait that long I get them in and I'm just like whoosh, whoosh, I gotta do it now and I have to look through every single one of them I um I don't know what it is about this deck, but first of all, I like put out the bat signal again the other day and I was like, guys, I have this card deck on my Amazon wish list. Just if you were ever thinking about donating, that's a really great way to do it too. And it's like a day later, two days later, I've already got it on my front step. So thank you so much to Crystal. Crystal is the one that got it for me. She also got me these really awesome, um, I had these on my wish list too, these really cool card holders that a friend of mine that did a reading for me the other day, um, she has those in her videos and I just loved the way that they looked. And so it's like cards jumping out of my hand right now. So when I do my recorded readings and I have all of my cards laid out on my desk and everything, I can just set them up in this and there are these really cool gold uh, infinity symbols. And this is probably your first card right here too. So I'll read that for you too, but how cool is that? And, there's like a whole set of them that I got. So my my arrangement, my setup here on my desk, I think is gonna be a little bit different. So Crystal, thank you for that too. That was um, really amazing, such a great gift. And I just, I love getting things in the mail. My kids go out there and they <laughs> they pick up the package from the person and they're like, mom, my God, why do you always get these gifts in the mail? And I'm like, I just, because people love me and I ask for it and <laughs> they like to donate. It's such a nice thing. They, the concept of it for them is really hard. Sometimes it's hard for me too. And, um, like, Oh, Crystal, you're on here. Yay. Thank you so much. I'm so glad you're here and you could hear this and see this. And um, this is this is from you. Um, hi, babe. Lloyd's on here, too. Um, so I really love that it's a it's a lovely example for my kids in me opening myself up and accepting a gift an energy exchange, because that's essentially what it is. And I don't need people to buy stuff for me. And I could have bought this card, this, this deck of cards for myself too. But there's something about allowing that energy exchange. And um, for a lot of you who, who get so much out of um, these channelings and these readings and these free readings on YouTube, it, it empowers you or it allows you to give your energy back in a different kind of way too. And it really examples that for my kids in, in, in accepting it and receiving it and being excited about it and saying, they say, why, why, why do they send you this stuff? And I'm like, well, because, you know, I post videos on YouTube and everything and, and it helps them. My videos help them. And so they're grateful. And the way that they express their gratefulness sometimes is to send me cards or that's the kind of energy exchange that they're giving me for it. And and I don't expect it at all, but I do receive it and I love it. And I say, thank you. And I think they're just so in awe about the energy of that or, or, or the idea of an energy exchange in that way. So I, I love that, that it's exampling that for them too, that they're a part of it and they love to open it too. <laughs> they're almost like, mom, can we, can we open it for you? So hi guys. I just want to like breathe you in and say hi and, Hi, Anne. Hi, Alyssa. Hi, Rose. Hi, Ben. Hi, Maggie. Maggie said she's been debating on getting those cards. Um, so I posted about this on my um, practice card reading group on Facebook. Also, if you're not a member over there, you go over there and, and exchange readings with someone. It's a really great learning opportunity. And um, we just talk about what resonates and what doesn't resonate. We just swap, swap readings. Um, it's called the Hawk's Nest card reading club. That's what it is. 
Um, I don't know that I have a link for it in the box below, but um, I will try to get you one unless someone in here can go grab that link and post it on here uh, in the chat box. Um, but it's a really great space for, for practicing. If you love to read cards, if you um, really want to build your intuition, that's really the, the basis of it all, but doing it in a way that is just visual and it's fun. And um, if you like to read cards and you just need a place to practice, you just need someone to read for, go over there. Everybody's up for it all the time. You just say, you know, hey, I want to do a reading today. Is anybody up for it? And you usually have a couple of people like, yeah, 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 for sure. Let's let's do it today or tomorrow or whatever it is. And it's fun. And it also helps your your intuition, helps build your, your intuition. I always tell people, read for as many people as you possibly can. In the beginning, that was the best advice that I ever got. Read for as many people as you possibly can. But those people need to be up for it. They need to be open to it. You can't convince someone else and say, hey, can I read cards for you? And, and uh, you know, I need to practice. And or, or if it's in an energy of needing to prove yourself to them or prove that cards are real to them, um, it's a lot harder to get into their energy. It's a lot harder to read for them. And it creates more doubt and more hesitancy within yourself. Only read for people who either seek it out in you because their energy is totally open. It's so much easier to dig in and get it from them. Um, or, or, you know, someone that you offer to that just, you can tell their energy is open. It's just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, I've always wanted to have my cards read. And yes, I can't believe you do that. That would be great. Thank you. Um, this just a little bit of advice. I've tried a couple of times. I've done that. I've read for people that, you know, I, I just wanted to show them that the magic is real. And uh, it was really, it's so draining. Oh, it's so draining. It's so much work that you have to do to read for, for those people. It's just not worth it. Um, hi, Lisa. Hi, Bubble Bubble. I've never seen that one before. Crystal, again. Epiphany Noel, you're back. Rada, I'm glad to see you here too. I always see your, your comments on all my videos. Lorraine, Soul Sister. Oh yeah, I haven't seen your name in a while. Hi, um, Brooke, hey girl, hey. Uh, and there's Lloyd. I just have to tell you ahead of time that Lloyd and I just got off. We've been working for four hours now we were on the phone, on a call, like channeling, working through some things between us, but also like channeling energy and, and messages and really digging into a lot of this frozen energy that I've been talking about for the last week and really, really transmuting a lot of stuff within that. And so there's so many layers. And at one point he even said, are you recording this conversation? Because I feel like this is deep. There's a lot of depth in this. I mean, we're going back to like, Anunnaki and we got into some really, really deep stuff. We're working, definitely transmuting a lot of stuff. So um, it's good work. So it's no coincidence that we're leading up to this too. Uh, and this is meant to be just like, you know, fun. I just want to read some cards for you and stuff, but who knows what's going to come up right now. So hi, Marianne. Hi, Elizabeth. Hi, Ronald. Uh, Echo, turn it down. Tell me, can you guys hear my music right now? I'm just going to shut up for a second so you can tell me. And if so, I got to turn it down. I would like to not turn it down because this is the volume that I, I don't have to struggle to try to listen to it if something stands out to me. So if you guys can hear it, I got to turn it down. And if not, um, I'll leave it where it is. Hi, Justine. I don't know if I've ever seen yours before. I don't see it. I don't think I've seen you comment before, but hi, welcome here. Thank you so much for that. Um, she said, you're an amazing reader. Thank you for the readings. Thank you for that. And you're welcome. I love it. Lori, Mel, Marianne, thank you for your donation. I'm going to pull a card for you first. So um, yeah, the super chat is enabled down at the bottom. If uh, I'm going to pull cards for, you know, as many people as I can here out of this deck, um, but if you put up a donation, I'm going to, that's going to be the order of order of operations. Um, and it will bump you up in the uh, priority list. So I've got Marianne, Epiphany Noel, and Alyssa. Thank you 
Thank you guys so much for your donations. Um, Elizabeth, just like yesterday, is there any way you can keep track of um, like what the order is of the peeps? And who is that one? Okay, I got that one. Tennessee whiskey is on right now. And everybody said, no, 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 nope. I can't hear it. Good. I love that. I love everything about it. Okay. Oh, my screen froze too. That's no coincidence. Let's go. So exciting for me. Now, usually I have a whole system that I go through when I get a new deck. Like I have to welcome it to my family. Thank it for being here. Thank it for making its way to me. Each card deck is its own personality. And this per this deck has the personality being fucking hard to get into in the first, oh, there it is. It's like a secret entrance. That's what it is. It's a secret door on the side. And it says something. <laughs> anyway, what I was gonna say is that I usually have um, a routine that I go through when I welcome new decks to the family. And I'll clear them. I usually clear them with Palo Santo. Um, that way you're clearing out the energies of whoever um, has come in contact with it and really purifying the intention behind why this deck made its way to me um, and just thanking it for being here, obviously. So um, I'm going to do that after after I get off of here with you guys, but I'm also just going to kind of do that energetically first, welcome it to the family, welcome it to this space too specifically and energetically just kind of set the intention and energy. So. There's a lot of rainbow energy. There's a lot of chakra energy coming off of this right now. And gold, gold energy. That's what I'm doing. I'm, I'm almost wrapping it in this like gold pod to, to have it bloom, to have it seed. The, uh, this deck is very special. This deck, maybe the messages in the deck are very special, but maybe it's the, this one specifically for me is going to be very, very special, but there's something in it that is the seeds that will be planted with these cards are golden and they are full of alchemy. That's what I'm hearing. It's like this deck is already speaking to me. So love it. Okay. I don't know if you'll be able to see it or not, but it says life is magical. You are magical. Yeah. Oh my gosh, look at that. And on the inside of it, on the on the back of the card is this rainbow swirl energy. That's beautiful. Those are really, really gorgeous. Co-create your most beautiful and meaningful manifestations. I told you there's a lot of alchemy in this deck. There's a lot of alchemy here. There's a lot of the element that is needed in connection with my chemistry. My chemistry and this chemistry is creating a lot of gold alchemy. Oh, I love that. Okay. Thank you. Boom. First one, earth magic. Number one, the number one card. My light is really bright right now too. I do want to, I don't want to blow the cards out because I want to be able to really see them. But look at the magic in that. Look at the way that it's lit up. There's like activations all over the place. There's so many different sparks of magic in the earth that we're drawing up. Oh God, that's amazing. So they're bringing to mind the earth star chakra, which is just below your feet and your ability to absorb the magic from the earth, the, the, um, the power of her, of your alchemy with her. Clearing through and making sure your earth star chakra is clear is really important. And the root chakra is the most important energy center of the main seven because it feeds all the rest of them. So if you have a blockage in your root chakra, it's kind of blocking the flow of energy coming up from the earth and through the other ones. But the earth star chakra is a little bit underrated and doesn't get the maintenance that it needs. Clearing through um, and just making sure that that is, is, is clear is going to help you if you have trouble grounding, 
if you have trouble connecting with the earth, or if you just have trouble sometimes getting the energy from here and grounding it out of your body, check in with your earth star chakra. It may be that there's some sort of blockage there and it's really, really simple to clear out. I find that the earth star chakra is really an easy one to shift this energy out of. It doesn't want to be blocked. It wants to connect you with the earth. If you're not spending enough time barefoot or um, walking barefoot outside also, if you spend a lot of time inside and um, you, you know, you spend most of your day in a building and then you go home and it's already dark out and you don't go for, you don't step outside in the grass or whatever it is. Your earth star chakra is like yearning for the direct connection with the earth. Um, it causes you to not be able to ground yourself in the, in the, the most effective way. So that's just what I'm getting out of that first card. Okay, so up first is, thank you, Elizabeth, for repeating all of those. Um, and that was a really beautiful card. Um, I'm just going to look through them real quick, and then I'm going to shuffle them for you guys and pull and pull one for you, okay? And just like I was talking about with that earth magic and this earth star chakra, roots, roots of abundance. Look at the roots of those, and look at how many, like, little just sparks of light there are. And dream on is, is on right now. Sing with me. Sing for the laughter, sing for the tears. Roots of abundance. That's really beautiful too. Take from it what you need to take from it. Make sure that you pay attention to the colors. This is the Oracle of the Seven Energies. And I really do like to connect with the guidebook as well because you, you really connect in with what the intention was by from her in um in, in creating it and, and what does it mean, the seven energies, the oracle of the seven energies, the oracle of the, the chakra system. And maybe that's why I'm so connected already with this deck because I work so closely with the, the chakras are everything um, and keeping them aligned and working with them and generating. That's where your light body is. Um, I do so much work in the, um, in the chakras that this is very near and dear to my heart. So um, just as a tip, make sure that you do kind of look over and read through your, your um, the guidebook a little bit too. Oh, that one's really beautiful too. Time machine. And look at how it's lit up. That's really pretty. Love that. There's a lot coming off. That's like portal energy right there. Ooh. Okay. We're going to look at the rest of them. We will look at more of them. I'm going to shuffle them. And then I'll pull one for this, this order, the order of people. They shuffle really easily too. They slide really nice. Sometimes the new decks are like stick together a little bit too much. Take a little bit to ease in. I'm telling you, it's like I've had this deck forever. I don't know what's in this thing, but I just love it so much. We're on the same wavelength, Tiffany Noel. And as I said that to you, I saw the number 44 on this, so that's for you. Yeah, and these don't feel stiff at all. They're just like, they're really such a good, they're a good card stock, but the, it's, the energy in them is really great. All right, let's cut them. Love isn't always on time. All right, Marianne, you're up. Can I get a card for Marianne, please? They're very happy. They're very happy. They're just like a, a happy little puppy dog waiting to go to work or something. Hi, Paisley. Can I get one for Marianne, please? I'm not wanting to speak just yet. Maybe I just need to pick them instead of letting them jump, which isn't how I normally do it, but maybe this is, yeah, I feel like that's what it is. Okay. Cool. All right, Marianne, 
This is for you. Burst of magic. It's number 48 card too, which is, well, that's a lot of math. 48 card, 12, three. Mind, body, and spirit. There's a lot of gold in this too. Ooh. So the smoke that's coming off of this flower, this lotus flower, looks like the shape of a woman. I don't know if it's meant to be that way. It's supposed to be that. It looks like it's supposed to be that way, but that's what I notice about it. Always on time is... Love isn't always on time. This is really beautiful. It's so activating almost. I really love it. There's something about the pink too. There's a lot of pink going on today. I have this shirt that actually says pink. Somebody posted a card um, in one of the groups today too that was just all about all about pink. There's another, there's a, a woman in the hawk's nest. Her name is Arena. Uh, she paints these really, really beautiful um, mandala canvases and it was there was a very very excuse me pink theme about it so i feel like they're guiding me to the soul star chakra which is above your head i believe that the color of that is like a magenta kind of pink they're taking me up to that um there is like major rebirth happening for you right now marianne the birth of your feminine, like a rebirth of your feminine, but a very grown up, very mature um, feminine that is being born out of the mud. It's being born out of the mud. So take that how it resonates for you. Whatever it is that you're going through, whatever it is that you have been through, whatever it is that you're sitting in the middle of right now, that muck is beautiful. It's a, there's a purpose to it because the, the shape of you afterwards is so elegant and chic and very, very feminine. The feminine form is so beautiful. That's that's what I'm looking at right now as um, what's coming out of the mud. So take that, take that. Uh, all right, I'm gonna put it back in the deck too, just in case someone else is supposed to go on with that. Okay, next is Epiphany Noel. Thank you so much. Thank you for keeping track, Elizabeth. Hi, Shanette. I don't think I've ever seen you in here before. Thank you for being here. This one is for Epiphany. All right, one for Epiphany Noel, please. Thank you. Hotel California is on right now. Smoke and mirrors. Oh, that's kind of connected to um, Hotel California, too. Things are not always what they seem. There's a lot of things going on, especially in the world right now, that um, it are meant to be distractions. There are a lot of distractions in your life right now. Feel under the energy of it. Feel, feel the energy underneath of the things that are going on in front of your face, like you're not really seeing this or your life is hunky dory or like it's illusion. It's illusion energy. It's meant to distract you. What is going on behind the scenes? I feel like you know that. I feel like there's an energy of that underneath. 42, it's the number six card. It's about someone from your past. It's about someone from your past. That's what I'm hearing. A lot of what they're saying, a lot of what they're doing is all, is is like mask related. It's there's illusions there. It's smoke and mirrors meant to distract you from or maybe it's not meant to distract you from who you're supposed to be or moving forward or where you're supposed to go, but it is distracting you. Okay? Again, with that pink, that very deep magenta pink. So maybe look into the, the soul star chakra if that resonates with you. Okay, thank you for that. Rose is next. Hi, Jem. The tall tail. Oh, this is a beautiful card. I hate that I can't get it in focus. Maybe if I hold it closer, you can see it. like a little puppet oh it looks like Pinocchio definitely a um, puppet tall tail 
What is the story that you're telling yourself? What is the story that you're telling yourself? That's what I'm hearing. Something about that top hat too reminds me of like a magician's top hat. I'm sure that's what it's meant to be. Um, and it's the number eight card. I had to find the passage back to the place I was before. There's something about the story. What is the story that you're telling yourself? What is the story that you're telling yourself? Are you telling yourself that you're that you're that you don't have control? That you don't have control, that you you essentially are a puppet, you're a slave to the matrix, or that you have to do what you're told, or you have to follow these guidelines, or or like or do you have control of your own? Are you your own puppeteer? Are you the one creating those illusions for yourself? Are you creating that story for yourself? It's time to create a new story for yourself, it feels like. No one else controls you. There is no puppeteer. You are the puppeteer. What you, what's, what's happening in your life, you are manifesting, whether it's good or bad. You're manifesting it. It's coming from your thoughts. So start telling yourself a new story if you need to. And also start telling yourself the story of those positive things that have been manifesting in your life. You did that. Take the credit for that. You manifested it. Okay? Love that. That was really beautiful. All right. Annie's next, right? Yep. Annie's next. Thank you, Elizabeth. Elizabeth, God, love you. You are the best moderator I've ever seen. All right. Annie, you're up, girl. Oh, this is the one that is the, the kind of picture that's on the front here. It's the Oracle's Gift. It's a number 37 card. It is the number 10. You know, we all love the fucking 10 card. Um, oh, this is nice. It's like reading the tea leaves almost, right? The Oracle reading. Have you ever read tea leaves before? I've never done that before. I've never, I don't think I've ever had my leaves, my tea leaves read, if that's what they call it. Um, but there's something about that. There's some sort of gift. There's something that you're able to do, whether it's, whether it's actually like reading tea leaves or it's reading cards or it's like scrying or um, whatever, or channeling or being a medium or whatever it is, there is a gift that you have. It's a very powerful seer's gift that that they want you to focus on um it's either like this is the gift to you you're being activated to it now there's something that's coming to your awareness but but you have a gift that they really want you to um tap into that's where the gold is that's where the gold is look at this triangle in the middle of this cup with all of that golden color around it and the triangle is all about just like sacred geometry and the um, the Trinity, there's there's a lot of power in that generating power, alchemical power in that triangle. In that, that's where the gold is for you. That's where success is. That's where um, just joy and fun and abundance, abundance when it comes to like money. It feels like too. There's some kind of gift they want you to bank on. Um, literally banking on it, but leaning into it. And this is a really beautiful card. I hope that resonates for you. I know that that's not telling you like what it is, but um, just being aware that there is this gift that you have that they want you to lean into is going to be enough to bring it out for you. Okay. And remember that even though I'm pulling these cards for other people, if you feel some kind of resonance with that, like, yes, the triangle has been coming up for me a lot lately, or when the way that you said Trinity, I saw that name, I, I saw Trinity, like Baptist church or something today. And, and so that resonates with me. The number 10 resonates with me. It, this card is for you too. Okay. So thank you. Thank you for that, Annie. All right, Maggie, you're up next. Hi, Consuela. Maggie, yours just jumped out. That's saying something. Ooh, spirit of gratitude. This is really soft. This is very soft and soothing and really comforting and loving. 43, it's the number seven card. And I just have to say, 
It's so interesting. I thought this was a mug to begin with, but this actually looks like an ear to me. And there's one on this side over here. So it feels like this is someone's head and just up out of the top of it is growing this flower. I don't know what that is. Maybe a chrysanthemum or something like that. Um, spirit of gratitude. And what I saw like in my, my reflection over here was the gratitude of spirit. It feels like there is a presence and energy around you, maybe someone connected to you, someone who is past, either someone who is past or the spirit of someone in your past from your past is really wanting to offer you gratitude to say, I'm so thankful for you and your spirit and, um, your connection, your, your softness, um, who you are. Just listening to the song right now too. There's something, it feels like gratitude from a spirit around you. It feels like somebody who's passed. Just wants to say that they're so grateful for you and so proud of you. I feel like really just pride in who you are, who you've become, you should be so proud of yourself. And they're so grateful for who you are. Okay, that was lovely and very soft. You know, it's kind of like a mothering energy. I don't know if that is mother energy for you or not, but um, it feels very mothering. It feels very, very like proud mama kind of thing. Okay. Uh, okay, Ronald is up next. I love this. This is so fun. We should do this more often. Buy me some more cards and we'll do this more often. Um, ooh. Beautiful uncaging. This is this is a powerful card right here. Um, red, yellow. I see root chakra, solar plexus. Number 14. It's the number five card. So big changes. Big changes. Beautiful uncaging. And look at that lock right in the middle. You, you are about to unlock the depth of, of, of who you are. And if I can say, um, Ronald actually just signed up for our, our Reiki course. Um, if you didn't know, we do have it set. Um, we, yeah, I haven't posted about it yet, except in the hawk's nest, but we set our date for our first, um, or I'm sorry, a Reiki level one course, Holy Fire Reiki level one course for November, weekend of November 7th and 8th. And go over to my website. The link is down below for that. If you guys want to sign up for that, there's only eight spots and we already have four of them filled. So if you're interested and it resonates with you, or if you just want to read about it and get some information about what Reiki is or what the Holy Fire is, Go over to my website and read read all about it. Um, and if you're drawn to sign up, don't hesitate. Um, just go with your guidance. And um, yeah, anyway, it feels to me, Ronald, like that Reiki course has a lot to do with it. So uh, I just heard ease into it. So ease into it. This is very powerful. There's a lot of kundalini energy moving through you. There's a lot of kundalini. They want you to ease your way into it. It can be very powerful and very just like bah, 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 all the time. Um, really grounding, 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 grounding into just the beauty of this journey and how much you are, you are becoming just, I hear becoming. Okay. Love that one. That's really great. Okay, next is Mel. I'm so glad to see you, Mel. Yours just jumped out too. Now this deck is like really she's she's getting she's getting to be like uh, along the way that that I do things. Uh, another number ten card. This one is fucking amazing. Yes, please. Ooh, powerful. Yes, waking the lion. This is like. Allowing the lion is what I hear. Allowing that energy, stepping into your power, being that. It, it, this is happening for you right now. And I see again with the just bright gold color, there's a lot of gold entering the atmosphere, the, our chakras, we're, we're downloading. Oh man, just like golden codes, Christ codes right now. 
Um, and you're really being activated to, to that fierceness. That fierceness is part of you. Be proud of it. Don't hold it back. It doesn't need to come out in a way that is aggressive, but that fierceness is part of who you are and it is, is at the depth of who you are and it's powerful, but it's still really confident and sure. Look at his face. It's just like, This is number 10. So if you are not there yet, you are coming into allowing that energy and allowing it to shine, allowing yourself to shine. You've got both of these triangles over here too. So that triangle energy, that Trinity energy, that mind, body, and spirit kind of connection is working on you right now. And it's interesting that it's on both sides over here. Waking the lion. They want me to read, they want me to read from the, the book in this too. So let's take a look at that real quick. <sighs> yes, Mel, lean into the fire. Yes, lean into the fire. Allow yourself to be, set yourself on fire. <laughs> Obviously not literally, but set yourself on fire. Lean into your fire. It's time to allow it. Because it's there's there's so much gold there. There's that's where the gold is for you is in your fire element. So I often tell people, and I need to start posting some more readings that have to do with the elements. I'm going to do that for sure. Um, but I often tell people to watch readings online. Um, that you know, a lot of people watch air sign readings because they their sun sign is an air sign. So they're Gemini, um, Libra, Aquarius. They're, they're one of those things. And so that's the one that they're drawn to most of all. But I feel like the, the ones that you should be watching, the ones that have the most little tidbits in there for what you need to do in order to move or to, you know, extract to balance the element are the ones that you lack in your chart. So sometimes we are not able to, whether we lack fire in our charts, whether you lack fire in your chart or you're unable to tap into where the fire is on your chart, those are the readings that you should start watching because that's what's going to help to wake, to awaken the lion and to help you lean into that fire energy. Um, balancing, we need to constantly be moving around, moving and shifting what what readings we're watching or what guidance we're getting according to the element that we that is speaking to us that we are needing a little bit of guidance from so it may be the fire right now it may be air sign readings again later because you you kind of need to build that back up again and astrologically it depends on what's happening too but um yeah start start doing that too with um with the readings that you watch online guys 66. It's on page 66. Key concepts, boldness, the courage to move forward, even without knowing the way, facing that which is difficult or painful, the audacity to step into the unknown. How fucking dare you? That's because we're warriors. That's because the lion does whatever the hell he wants to do. And he has courage. He's not afraid of it. It's like barreling through that fear barrier. That's what it is. Okay. Regardless of the outer conditions right now, you can't wait for your fear to lessen before you move forward. In fact, despite the chaos and seeming disarray, you must be bold. Whatever your trepidation, act as if you have deep trust that all will be well. There's, there's a little bit more there, but I feel like that was the heart of the message. So, And that was for a lot of others. Of you. That's why they wanted me to go so in depth with it. Oh, oh, Maggie, I missed my card. Oh, did you get it? Okay, good, 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 good. Okay, hi, love seed. Okay, who is anybody else up next? Or did I catch up? Nope. Ben. So I got through Mel, Ben, and then Consuela. Well, hell, I saved some money earlier. Ben, you're investing in yourself. You're investing in the guidance that you need towards whatever it is. And I feel like there was something else that you had said to me um, the other day about money or, or the fact that you had, that was the first time you had ever donated for somebody. And thank you for that, by the way. Um, 
This, it feels like, is about abundance. It's about trusting. Um, it's about giving, tapping into the energy of the freedom of not being owned or bound by money. If you want something, if you want a card, don't even think twice about it. Just like, it doesn't even matter if you have money for later or whatever, because the universe is just going to bring you in money. Um, if you haven't, if you don't listen to Abraham Hicks, I would recommend that you kind of start listening to some of her recordings and, and getting into the energy of, um, of law of attraction. That's what I'm getting for you right now about even the card. I will pull you a card, but that's what I was getting from that. Oh, beyond the ordinary. That's really beautiful. All of these are going to be really beautiful. And I'm just going to say that over and over again, but it's the number nine card. It's the number nine, which means it's, it's almost to completion. The number nine is just before the 10, the number of completion. So you're almost there. It's just very close. And this kind of ties in with, they're showing me the card that I pulled for you the other night too, the seven of pentacles. You you've really built a great, energetic foundation for yourself. You really have. There's something very, this says beyond the ordinary. My heart is racing for some reason. It's like, you're, you're extraordinary. You really are very, very, so much more powerful than you realize you are. There's something so, 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 there's another word for it beyond the ordinary. Like, Ready to fly, getting ready to fly. There's just that, what is that? There's just that last step before you get to the, 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 your abundance, your full manifestation, the full manifestation of everything that you want. You have the power to do that. Draw it from your heart. Listen, they're, they're showing me this, um, the focus of where these lights are on the ear right there. They're wanting you to really, really listen. Listen to the guidance. Listen to where, even if you don't hear the guidance in your ear or you're not getting it from yourself, where else are you getting the guidance from? I just emailed you the other day too. So sometimes it's about hearing that guidance from other sources. That, that, that thing that led me to you to email you or whatever it was, essentially is the same thing as spirit gabriel i hear whispering in your ear just the messenger so think about that okay wow that was really lovely i love that if you need help with that too um if you need help digging into that if you want to look into like what your purpose is or what that means for you or go deeper make sure you book a session with me and we'll, we'll really really get into the um i'm connected with your guides apparently Okay, Consuela is next. Woke up sassy. Hey, girl. All right, this one is for Consuela. Next, we're all done. Whoa, that's it for everybody. Oh, I have to pull one for Lloyd, too. Lloyd, are you still here? Oh, okay. All right, Ben, I saw that. I'll, I'll check your message in a little bit. I think I did see that on there, but um, <laughs> Lloyd and I were, I only had a couple of minutes to get ready here. <laughs> um, okay, Consuela. It's a number 40 card, the land, the land between. It's like being in between worlds. I just heard playing a new game, laughing and running. Um, so, so this in between, this the land in between, it's like connecting this, these bridges connect two land masses. It can be that you've, you're kind of in between worlds right now. You're in between shifts. You're in the middle of a big transformation. This transformation for you is bridging the gap from your old life to your new life. But right now you're existing in the middle here and you're really building that world, what that's going to look like for you before you can step over this bridge. You're creating a new realm. You're creating a new world for yourself. That's what it feels like. You're shifting from an old way of thinking, an old way of being. And that means 
what you would accept from people and treatments that you would accept from people in relationships in the past. And you're shifting into a new way of being into a new way of, of accepting or, or what you expect from people in your life. And that is all a direct relationship with, or a reflection of how, what you expect from yourself and it's not judging yourself anymore. Freeing yourself from, from like self judgment. That's what I hear. And, and knowing that you're worthy, that you are worthy of the treatment that, that you know that you are deep down and not accepting any less. Okay. That's what I hear. I hope that resonates for you. All right, Rel, I guess you're up next. Actually, I'm going to pull one for Lloyd real quick. I'm going to pull one for Lloyd. Didn't Alyssa, Alyssa, did you, did I miss somebody? I got everybody, right? And just as a reminder, if you guys want a card pool, there's the, um, the super chat down at the bottom, my right ear is ringing right now, which is the feminine side. So, so there's something about feminine energy. There's some kind of activation. There's some kind of incoming light codes from the feminine for the feminine. That's what I'm hearing. Okay. Thank you, Marianne. Right back at you. All right, babe, I'm going to pull one for you. Exciting. We pull cards together all the time too, but pull one for Crystal. Did I miss Crystal? Or is that are you like offering your card for Crystal? Oh, because Crystal is the one that gave me this deck. Yeah, duh. All right, I'm gonna pull one for Lloyd first and then I'll pull one for Crystal. Crystal, are you still here? Thank you for reminding me about that. Yes, definitely. All right. Oh, this one's nice. Great and full. Great and full equals grateful. My cup is full. And it's the number four card. Oh, the number four is a really powerful number, especially, I don't know why, I'm sure it's on all of the other cards too, but the diamond around the outside of the four stands out for me. So there's something about diamond and energy, diamond energy that's coming in. And again, my ear is ringing on this right side. So maybe those, those codes, the feminine codes are, are like diamond codes that are coming in that are filling your feminine energy. There's, there is this fullness. And it's funny because it feels very sturdy. The cup feels very sturdy sitting there, but the, the liquid that's in it, the wine that's in it is like all stirred up. It's like something has just gotten dropped in that cup. So the cup is sitting still, but something just got dropped in it. So this powerful light energy, the diamond light energy that's coming into your cup, the one cup, the ace of cups, which is really a powerful card too. Um, it's dropping in and it's, um, it's really, there's something about the red too, the red wine, red, red wine. Uh, it's something about the root chakra. So it feels like those diamond codes, babe, are being anchored in your root chakra now. Diamond codes from the feminine and the gold that's on this too. It's like, it's like what you needed for, for your chakras turning to gold. And, and alchemy is what, you know, mixing things together, mixing energies, elements together in order to create gold. And so there's something, these diamond codes are being launched and clearing through your root chakra in order to create this gold. Okay, I hope that makes sense for you, babe. Great and full. I am grateful. I am grateful. All right. Yes, Crystal's here. I'm going to pull one for Crystal, too. That was a really nice card. That was very, very, very nice. You're welcome, Consuela. All right, Crystal. Crystal. 
You said, I feel the twin energy in that card. Yeah, yeah. All right, I just got to pull one. Opening to discovery. Wow, look at this, like... That's really amazing. And Elizabeth, this key right here looks just like the key you showed me when we were texting the other night. There's some sort of key that's lying underneath of, of this realm. It's like, it's kind of sitting in the dark just a little bit. So it feels like opening to discovery. It means looking for the key to things, looking to open that portal, looking for the key in places you wouldn't normally. The key sometimes is in the shadow. Sometimes the key is sitting in the darkness. Sometimes the key is to sit in the darkness in order to open up that realm. Very superstitious that song is on right now. This feels like um, part of that key is what you're afraid of in the darkness. It feels like some kind of spirit energy. It feels like maybe ghosts um, or ancestors. It feels like you're sensitive to that kind of energy. And sometimes you have to challenge yourself to just sit in the dark and actually connect with them, connect with your ancestors, connect with those spirits, connect with um, the darkness to allow your eyes to adjust and to see something that you may have been missing in order to open up really, really beautiful portal energy. Something, something about like opening up the portal to your star seed energy. Maybe it's aliens that um, you kind of have an aversion to or are blocking or whatever. It's your, your galactic kind of um, center and who you are as a star seed. They're wanting you to, to dig into that. That might be the key for you is, um, that's what I hear, not being afraid of aliens because you, you are one. 34. 34, the number 34 rings a bell too. So I'm not sure if it is like something about when you were 34, if you are 34, Superstition, again, I just keep hearing superstition. Superstition ain't the way. It needs to feel grounded. It needs to feel like, I'm gonna pull another one for you, Crystal. The power of purpose. Again, it's the number nine card. So you're just about to some sort of, some sort of shift. This also reminds me of the wheel card from the tarot, which is the, the completion of a cycle, um, karmic cycles. It's not always the completion. Sometimes it just means karma, but it feels like there's there's a little bit of, um, I don't know, some kind of karma there, the power of purpose. And it's a bullseye, so it's just like, yeah, you just hit the nail on the head. There's something very ancestral here. Lemuria is what I'm hearing. Egypt, I'm hearing. I feel like there's a lot of ancestors there for you. Galactic ancestors, beings, there are a lot of beings around you. Spirits of, of and energies of people who have passed, ancestors, um, Palladians, Lyrians, Arcturians. There's some kind of programming that um, is connected to the word superstition, superstition. Yeah. I hope you resonate with that. The power of purpose. But okay, so that's the point, though, is that you're so close to finding more of what your purpose is. Your purpose is in connecting with these energies. And they're, they're, they've got the key for you. They've got the key to your purpose. You need to sit with them in the dark. Okay. Okay, Rel's up next. Thank you again, Crystal. Seriously, I am just so over the moon with these decks, or with this deck. 
somebody today too, I think it was Alyssa said that it, it, it reads really well with this wisdom of the Oracle deck too. So um, maybe I'll do a reading uh, a video where I'm, I'm using them together and stuff. So if we had more time here, I would pull one from each one of them and see how they speak together. But I really want to get to know this one a little bit. All right, Ralph. Oh, this one for you again. Okay, I'm going to pull another one. But what I said earlier about this one, I think is applying to you. So if you didn't see that before, go back and watch that. Because I read that card for someone else. Oh my god, that's funny. Okay, this one came out too for Maggie. So we've got these two and the colors are definitely speaking to each other. I'm gonna pull another one until I <laughs> Until I get a new one. I'm only going to get so many new ones. Depends on how many people we read from. Read for. Oh my gosh. A tall tale. Rel, all of these apply to you. Okay? All of them do. I'm going to see how they read together. <laughs> I don't want this to be a whole full reading for you, but... Um, Crystal, you said I'm meant to channel. Okay, if you need help um, developing that and really tapping into it and connecting with it, book a session with me and let's let's really open that up for you. There's a real, there, there is an activation happening for you for that. I can help you with that. Ralph, there it is. Body and soul, number five card. Big changes. That's really pretty. Echo, what song is this? Batter, Battle of Evermore, I think, by Led Zeppelin. I don't think I've ever heard this song before. Um, body and Soul. Body and Soul. So the only thing missing from this in the Trinity connection is the mind, body, and soul connection. I feel like that's what you're anchoring right now is, you know, you're connecting in with the body and soul thing, but to complete this, that Trinity, bringing in the, the mind element, removing the ego mind and, and keeping the... Um, the, you know, the essence of who you are, combining that with body and soul. You got the body thing down, you got the soul thing down right now, combining in the, the mind connection along with it. And that feels like, where do you get that connection? Or how do you anchor that connection into body and soul? Also, these three cards, these three here, Take those, Rel, you're a really good card reader, okay? I want you to read into these and know what you need and extract the meaning from all three of them together. Read them together. A tall tale. What is the story that you're telling yourself about gratefulness, about gratitude, and about who you are? Like, who you are. Who you are as a woman. Who you are as a feminine. There's some sort of, there, there's some kind of power in that. I hope that makes sense for you. That was fun. I'm going to shuffle these again real quick. Okay, next up is Diane and then Kathleen. I can't believe we're at almost an hour already. I just love this so much. I just saw a really, really cool card in there too. All right. Real Addy. Hi there. How are you? I don't think I've ever seen that name before. You're here to say hi to Romeo. Oh, gosh. I usually lock him out of here because otherwise he'd be all over me. And he's just, he's probably sitting right outside that door right now because he can't stand to be away from me. So I, I can bring him in for you if you want. Yarsin. Hi. How are you? Okay. Diane. Smoke and mirrors. The number six card, smoke and mirrors. So what is it that's distracting you right now? What are you being distracted from? There's something that you're being distracted from. Your purpose. Your brain is very, it feels monkey mind. It feels very monkey mind-ish. 
grounding yourself and really meditating is um, so important for clearing out the, the fog, clearing out the fog. Something that really distracts you from, from seeing clearly to And I think that you know what it is. Storyteller. It's a number eight card. There's another, there's a key on this one also. And there's this teeny tiny little, in the middle of the book, there's a keyhole. What is the key? This is, this, this is um, a blank pages too. It's time to rewrite your story. It's time to rewrite your story. The old story, the old story is what's um, distracting you. It's time to write your new story, okay? It's time for you to write your own book. It's time for you to create your own belief system. The old story is distracting you. And it's an illusion. Okay, I hope that makes sense for you. Yeah, another key, I know, I saw it, Elizabeth. There's a lot of keys in here. We're digging deeper to what the key is. What is the key? Okay, hope that resonated for you. Kathleen is up next. Oh, let it go. Let it go, let it go. Can't hold it back anymore. Can't hold it back anymore. There's something that's being released. There's something that's coming out. Something, something really beautiful. It's an ending, it's a beginning, it's, um, it's a gift. I can see that it, it's like tied up in this pretty little bow. And these hummingbirds, hummingbird spirit is really fun. It's really playful. Um, and they're almost just like, it doesn't feel heavy at all. Whatever it is that you need to let go, it doesn't feel heavy anymore. So it feels like you've done the heavy lifting, you've done the heavy work, and now it really is time to um, realize what a gift all of that was. And I know you know that already, but anticipating and anxiously, like a kid, like very kid-like and playful, opening this gift for yourself and looking at it as letting go is giving myself this gift. And I can't wait to see what it is. I can't wait to unpack it. I can't wait to unwrap it. Um, so, so letting go of something, whatever this is, is um, a really amazing gift that you're giving to yourself and staying in the energy of that gratefulness and that positivity and that, that um, just light and, um, focus on what's to come, this playful focus on what's to come, I can't wait, is really going to help to finally let it go. Okay. I'm listening to a song. Sound of Silence is on. The Sound of Silence. The sound of silence. Okay. And they're showing me also, um, Kathleen is one of our, our Reiki students and it feels to me like the energy of that is going to kind of be powered up in, in this area in doing, and it even sounds different when I do this. So when, when you do Reiki on your, on your ears, the next time they're showing me this motion, they're showing me this in order to help loosen it up and to, Really, really listen to the silence. Just listen to it and don't focus on anything else. Just the, the silence is what's going to integrate this for you. It's, it's the Reiki here. And it's not hands-on. It's just above, I think. Listening to the silence is going to help to um, let that go. Okay. And it really is just letting it go. There's no thinking about it. It's just letting it go on an energetic level. You've already let it go in your mind and in your, your body. And now it's just your soul letting it go. And all you have to do is just exist and just be as you set the intention that it's, it's letting go and it's going to happen energetically. There's nothing else that you need to do to it in order to let it go. Okay. You're right there. Okay. Alyssa. Thank you, Elizabeth, again. Just gonna thank you all day long. Yeah, she really is a rock star. I just, she's so on top of it and like the best moderator for keeping me in line and yeah, 
like allowing me to, to focus. I appreciate you so much. Okay, so Alyssa. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's a good one. Look at that. Look at that fierceness. Look at that intensity. But it's really, um, it's very calm intensity. It's really just this knowing, this inner knowing. And that third eye is just lit up. Half of her face is this blue color and half of her face is this reddish kind of pinkish color. Um, and there's a star in her, the right eye, which is the masculine side. So when we're talking about seeing beyond, it's like combining the two almost, you know, this is our intuitive space. This is our, this is our, obviously our third eye. There's spirals there and there's a star that's connected from here to here. So there's a star that's connected from here and it's a star that's in her eye also. listening to the song that's on right now too, seeing beyond, seeing beyond this. We know that, we obviously know that. There's something else in it. I'm gonna read it to you. It's number 36. So, okay, these are, these are, I'm gonna have to read the front of this book. Um, so it's separated into the seven different energies, the oracle of the seven energies. And this message is coming from energy six, um, which is obviously your third eye. And it says light. So the, the, the energy of this or energy number six is all about light, intuition, vision, imagination, um, presence, knowing, perception, and mental states. So the key concepts for this card are vision, the capacity to imagine something, to look beyond the material. And so they're taking me back to that, that star in the masculine's eye. So um, the capacity to look beyond the material. So you're taking it from here, from the masculine energy, the material energy into um, here. Beyond the obvious, the realm of the transpersonal, options and possibilities, getting out of your own way and discarding your projected outcomes. So not trying to steer it as much, not trying to steer as much. It's masculine energy um, and not trying to create the movement, um, leaning more into inspired action, doing um, it, it shouldn't feel like effort. It shouldn't feel like needing to create it just is the, you, the power of you is in that um, intuitive space that leads you to your creative space. And that inspired action is just, it's um, there's so much flow to it. Do you consider things only within the framework of what you already know, or can you allow yourself to see beyond into the vastness of potential? We're all gifted with the magical ability of imagination. And when we open to it, we become a conduit for a divine vision greater than our own. There are two ways to view the world and co-create with it. One is from a face value perspective. What you see is what you get. The second, and that feels very linear. It feels very logically based. It feels really very masculine. Um, and the second is allowing your imagination to see beyond what something is right now and move into a place that doesn't yet exist in the material world. What I was saying earlier with the, um, the feminine energy bringing a message, bringing diamond codes to the feminine, it feels like that's what you're receiving right now too. I think all you need to do is set the intention to receive those codes and, um, and allow. I hope that makes sense for you. Okay, yes, trusting it, trusting it. So one of the hardest things for us because really we have to trust ourselves. We have to trust our intuition and trust the energy that we feel before we see the manifestation of it, before we see the proof of it, before we can make sense of the logic or, or try to nail it down with logic. We restrict it and put it in a box with logic. So um, yeah, yeah. I think you know what that is for you. Hi, Brooke. Did you just get here? Or did I already say hi to you? Yeah, I think I did. You did. Yes. Thank you. Okay. Um, real lady. Okay. Real lady. 
I'm gonna get Romeo here in, in, in here for you for yours. Romeo, he's not sitting right outside the door. I can't believe that. He's not coming. There's something in that because usually he's he's all over. Hmm, that's interesting. <laughs> Why didn't I just leave the door open for him? He'll come in. Might meet my other cat too. He's sitting out there. Okay, so real lady. Divine Matrix. Oh, this one's really pretty. This is the one that I saw earlier that, that was in the deck. It's the number 44 card. This is very, very portal energy. Very portal. Oh, and there's a face down here at the bottom. You can see that this is all happening right up here at the crown. It's actually like above the crown. There's all these symbols around the outside of this gold kind of portal. Hi, kitty. I'm going to read this one, too. Number 44. So the nor number 44 is <sighs> sacred number of Atlantis. I always think of that when I, I first see it. So however that resonates for you. And obviously this is um, in the, the seventh energy center, which is about thought, um, spirituality, ego transcendence, liberation, God consciousness, understanding, and wisdom. The key concepts are the realm of spirit, the knowledge that we're all divine beings, part of a tapestry, weaving our dreams into the fabric of reality, synchronicity, learning to trust the way things unfold. And we were just talking about trust too. So the message in that trust definitely have to um, do with each other. And now that I let the cats in, they're like, they're not usually all lovey with each other. They're just like all over each other now. There's something in that. There's something in connecting. There's something in connecting, connecting with, with other people that you wouldn't normally connect with, opening yourself up to, um, companionship, some kind of like friendship. Look at the way they're never like this. That That's part of your message right there. Do you ever wonder how synchronicities have come together? These meaningful coincidences move life forward in ways we might not understand at the time. We can get trapped in the idea that the world is a place of separate parts with space between because the true quantum spiritual nature of reality can be confusing. Imagine that everything possible under the sun is waiting to be claimed. You are not separate from what you desire to manifest. If that desire is companionship or, you know, friendship or connection with other people, again, you are able to manifest that you, 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 it's okay to admit that and to desire that and to want that. It's almost like this separation mentality in the world right now and social distancing and things like that has created the energy for people of it's not okay to want to be connected to other people. It's not okay. We need to stay separate. That's it's, it's like the programming that's happening right now. Um, you are not separate from what you, you desire to manifest. Everything is intrinsically connected within the vast living web of life, a divine matrix. Even that which you have not yet observed as part of your life experience is still connected to you. It remains dormant until you choose it. Decide it and choose it and believe it and stand by it. That's what I'm hearing. All right, now is Nana and then TP and Claire. And I think maybe maybe we'll cut it off at Claire, okay? So um, no more after this because we're already at an hour 13 minutes. I think that'll be good. All right, Nana, this one's for you. All the leaves are brown and the sky is gray. The uncharted sea, it's the number 46 card. I love this really beautiful compass that's on here and the gold up here on a winter's day. So the number 46 is the number 10 that stands out to me. The deep 
dark blue stands out to me. That feels very third eye. I feel and, it, and water and there's a lot of water energy in this too. So it feels like feminine energy, intuition, leaning into your intuition, drawing off of your intuition, the gold sitting on top of that and moving along with it, the flow, being in flow is not a place that you're comfortable with. It's not a place that you're used to being. It's uncharted territory, uncharted sea. Emotions, allowing the emotions, using the emotions, emotions, the motions of the ocean, using them to, to guide you as tools for learning or for feels like it's not a comfortable place to be. And so they're really wanting you to, but it feels like you're stepping into that. It feels like you're really leaning more into that. It's scary um, um, to allow them to flow in that way, but feels to me like sitting just on top of that is a lot of um, abundance. Doing something intuitive, like some sort of intuitive work, it feels like is is where you're searching for some kind of gold you're searching for some kind of um money it feels like job something like that it's connected to your intuition trust your intuition so whether that has to do with um making money or having a job that is connected with something like this like reading cards or um guiding people spiritually or whatever it is or it could just be that whatever job you feel intuitively guided to right now. It feels really foreign. It feels like, why would I do that? I've never been interested in something like that. It feels like uncharted territory. Um, they're, they're telling you that like, that's where the, that's where the gold is going with that flow is um, where the abundance is. So it feels job related. Okay. So next is TP. TP, TP, what is your name? If you don't mind giving me your name. Misty, hi, Misty. TP, this one is for you. Hi, Teresa, thank you. I'm gonna listen to the song. Shining Through, it's a number 30 card. Colors in this are really bold and really saturated and really beautiful, really um, very bold, very bold, shining through. I, I feel the energy of just boldness. This is almost just like be bold, be fearless. You have this fearless spirit within you. Let that shine through. Let that guide you. Don't hold that back at all. Stop dimming your light. Stop dimming your light. Be bold. Whatever it is that you want to do, do it. You, you, you make the decision and the courage, you're being in, in, encouraged. <laughs> you're being encouraged. You're being infused with courage. Um, your community, your, your, your people, your collective around you is building you up. Seeing the courage in other people, seeing the boldness in other people, the way that this person just does that. I just admire that about them. They just do it. <laughs> and I, I wish that I could do that and blah, 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 blah. You have that in you. You are able to do that and they are encouraging that. That's where your power is. That's where your power is. And I have these cards sitting in front of me here too. They're cards that I've collected along the way. Just like I, I went to a festival one time and they just gave out some, I just got to pick from cards and keep them. And I have a whole bunch of them sitting here. And this is the one that I really looked for. And the color looks exactly the same. So that boldness, that the representation of that, sometimes you don't even need to say anything to be bold. It's just about being there and allowing yourself to be it. That's where the power is. Your presence is your power. You just are that. Okay, that's really nice. Let me know if that resonates for you. He you know, wasn't able to be on the full time. That's all right. Thanks. I know, Brooke. I, I had to do it a little bit earlier today, though, for, for my people who are um, on the other side of the world. So happy to see you shining. Thank you. You helped me so much to shine. 
to bring the shine back out again. Brooke's my girl, if you guys didn't know that. Um, okay, Claire's up. Is Claire the last one? Yes, okay. There's some kind of there's some kind of movie that I keep going back to where the message was just be bold. I think she says that it's a girl. She says that in the movie. She just says be bold. I can't remember what it was, but I keep hearing that over and over again. I'm sure they'll bring it. Um, they'll 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 give it to me if it's important. It may just be just referencing that movie. Somebody knows what I'm talking about. All right, Claire, this one's for you. All right, I'm going to get another one. Divine Matrix came out for you. So if you um, heard me reading from the book, there's more message in it. So I'm going to read the message, the rest of the message for you. Um, but go back and listen to Divine Matrix if you didn't see that when I pulled that card for somebody else. Um, the last part of it says, life operates on life's terms as well. You don't live in a vacuum. So you are surrounded by a multitude of realities that were brought to life by others. These can surely affect you if you allow them to. You're surrounded by a multitude of realities that were brought to life by others, the manifestations of others, the belief systems of others, the, you know, fitting into the world around you instead of the world around you adjusting to who you are. This can surely affect you if you allow them to. But as your thread, your luminous life force, your courageous dream is part of the tapestry of life. So your individual belief systems, your manifestations, your creative potential, and the reality that you're creating around you contributes to the divine matrix. And, and it's so important to that divine matrix. So going along with what everybody else thinks and believes and says, um, just to not make waves I hear, is, is actually um, hurting the world around you. It's, it's, it's an important, you're, you're, manifest that your reality is very important to this divine matrix, to that grid work, to that grid. I hear grid work for you. Um, you're being invited to be a conscious pattern. No, you're invited. You're being invited to be conscious of the pattern you are weaving. Isn't it amazing to know you have such power inherent in you just by being alive. You will see evidence of the truth of this divine matrix today. It is in you. What you do matters. All manner of miracles are waiting for you to lay claim to them. Ready? That's a really beautiful message. That's that's a really beautiful part of that. I'm glad they had me go back in and finish reading that. So that's that's a perfect one. I hope that resonates with you. And then this one. Awakening Genius. It's a 29 card, so that's the number 11. Drawing off of, and look at the way the colors play together in these. They're very similar. This one is a little bit softer, though. Using the energy of your ancestors, calling on your ancestors. Calling on, I hear, the indigenous people to, to guide you. Awakening genius. That's where the creative potential is. The, 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 the wisdom, the ancient wisdom, that's where it is for you. Okay, for a lot of us, actually, this is for a lot of people. There's a lot of codes in this card, too, like um, like codes, and it looks like mathematical equations, sacred geometry, lots of color, lots of rainbow energy, rainbow warriors. If you know about the rainbow warriors, this is a message for the rainbow warriors. Awakening genius, awakening those that know. That's what I hear. So for all you rainbow warriors out there, this, this spirit is calling to you. Okay, and let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Again, oh, I love how they always bring it back together. Earth magic, full circle, back to the number one, back to what I said in the very beginning. The heart of it all is this earth, is this new realm, is this um, new earth, and the power of it, and the magic in it. And, and we are representations we are earth we are earth energy and so we're representations of that magic let's take that magic draw it up from the earth continuously ground ourselves into that magic and as we walk we disperse it for a lot of you especially after just talking about this the rainbow warriors for a lot of you grid work 
Grid work is, is in your near future. It's part of your purpose. If you don't know what that means or you want more information on that or if you want to dig into that for yourself, book a reading with me and we will talk about like what grid work means for you, what earth work means for you, what healing the earth means for you specifically. Everybody has a different role. Each one of the rainbow warriors represents a different color, a different ray. And each of those rays, each of those, each, each of those rays has a different frequency. Each of you has a frequency that matches one of those color rays. And each of those colors has a different purpose. They speak a different language and together they are like a symphony. That's what they're telling me right now. That's so beautiful. So if you want to tap into which of those color rays you are, which of those roles you are meant to play, let's let's dig into that for sure. Oh, that's exciting. There's there's definitely more energy in that. Babe, I hope I hope you're still here and I hope you're taking notes on that because that the energy of that rainbow warriors guiding people on quests and things like that is is um, something we need to make note of, okay? Oh. This deck is really just so amazing. I'm just so happy with it. A grand symphony, just like that music I was telling you about. Oh, that's nice. First of magic, roots of abundance again. Just kind of looking through real quick and see which ones we didn't get to. Bearing fruit, fruits of our harvest. Look at how beautiful that um, the earth looks in this. She's flowering, she's ripe. That's what I hear. Wish upon a star. Oh, wow. That's our inner children right there. Your inner child is really dreaming, really tapping into what she knows. Higher view. That's gotta be. So powerful. Ha, that's so powerful. And then I get this one. Powerful move. Queen, I'm the, I'm the king of the world. I don't know what um, I don't know what uh, the chess pieces are. I don't know what they look like. There's one down here and one at the top. I don't know which one's king and which one's queen. But if you guys know, feel free to tell me which one is on top of the world right there. Deep breath, quieting the mind. Ooh, the roses kiss. Oh, this one's sweet. Healing the heart. This looks like Reiki. This looks like Reiki to me also. Again, if you guys are interested in Reiki, go to my website. You can sign up now if you want to. November 7th and 8th. Be there, be square. Time machine. Broken open. Yeah, I, I, I realized that when I said it too, actually. King of the World, the Titanic reference. Hi, Laura. It's good to see you too. Laura, I just thought about you yesterday too, because we were talking about doing um, a, a Reiki course on Australian time, setting up a course that is specifically for people on that side of the world. And I was looking at different time zones and stuff like that. And I saw China there. And so I, I thought of you, I don't know if you do Reiki already or not, but uh, there may be a message in that for you. Close Encounters. Oh, this one is feisty. Ears wide open. To donate for free readings. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you. Elizabeth put up my, my website. You can click on the link right there. Uh, if you guys are watching this later, make sure you're watching the live chat there too, or go to the, every, all the information that you need is down in the box below too. Um, my website, my Divine Masculine's website, he has a lot of um, services and healings that he does as well. So make sure you go over and go over to his channel and check out the meditations that he's been putting up there and the videos that he's been posting. Uh, there's a lot of messages and a lot of seeds planted in his message too that anchor in some of the messages that I'm giving here too. So they, they really work together. There's a lot of meditations that he's done too where um, they they work together with the messages that I'm giving out too. And they're just, they're so, they're so beautiful and beneficial and um, so make sure you go over and check out his, his website and also his YouTube page. The link for that is down in the box below. 
Oh, as I'm talking about him, tender embrace. It's a number 22 card. Love that. Love you, babe. Okay, endless possibilities. Number 11 card. Number 38. That's really pretty. I just love it. All right. Thank you guys so, so, so much for being here. This was really fun, and I hope to do it again. Um, I'll be using this deck really, really often. I may record a video. I think tomorrow I'm, they want me to record a video, and so maybe I'll use these and the, the Wisdom of the Oracle deck here. If you guys have any intentions or any kind of readings that you prefer to see or that you have a suggestion for, either leave it in the comments down here or um, email me at hawkjourneys at gmail.com. The link for that is down below too. And let me know what you guys, what kind of videos you guys would like to see, what kind of questions you have. Or if you guys, I'd like to do a video or even a live for um, what questions you guys have. If you have questions about the journey, if you have questions about the twin flame journey, if you have questions about ascension or about something that I talked about here or about reading cards or about intuition or whatever it is, whatever kind of questions you guys have, email me with those too or post them here in the comments. And um, I'm going to compile a list of questions and I'll make a video where I'm answering those questions or I can answer them live with you guys and um, and really dig into the heart of what you're needing to know. And I get my guidance for, for what they want you to know, but I think it's important to set the intention and, and really dig into the information that you guys are needing for your own expansion and empowering yourself. So, um, yeah, get in touch with me with all of that. Um, there's something else that I wanted to tell you too, some kind of announcement. Oh, Reiki two. If you guys are looking for the Reiki 2 class, we set the date for that. It's going to be the weekend of uh, November 21st and 22nd. So Reiki 2, if you the requirement for Reiki 2 is that you completed Reiki level 1. We do Holy Fire Reiki. You don't have to have had Holy Fire level 1. Any Reiki level 1 is, the, is okay for going into level 2. So it's just that we add in the Holy Fire Essence um, within our course there. So you just, you pick that up at whatever level you come in at. Um, so if you have any other questions about that, oh, that's on my website. Well, I haven't activated it on my website yet because I have to add a couple of things into it, but I, I'll do that tonight. I'll make sure that I go in and I add the ability to, to book already. If you go on there and I haven't done that yet, just send me over an email that says I'm interested in Reiki 2. Give me a heads up when you post it and I'll send you an email and say, okay, it's live, ready, go, ready, set, go. Um, but I'll try to get that up tonight. Anyway, I just wanted to let you know that the date was um, the 21st and 22nd. I believe that's when it is. Okay. Um, thank you guys so much. I'm just going to kind of scroll back through here real quick. Thank you, Karen. Very epic. Thank you, Crystal. Yes, thank you for facilitating this and for making this happen by getting this this deck of cards. Um, I just want to scroll back. Oh, hi, Tracy. Hi, Sienna. Oh, thank you, Ben. Thank you for doing things like this, for caring about and connecting with people, being friends with this group and all the rest. We all know that business and hustle or not, you're sincere, and that means everything. It's pretty damn special. Thank you. That is really sweet. And um, thank you. I love that about myself, too. I like that. I like that it translates. I like that that authenticity and my genuine just love for you guys and my love to connect with you guys translates in that way. And you summed it up so perfectly. And I really appreciate that. Right back at you. Um, love you. Oh, Arena's in here. Hi, Arena. I mentioned you earlier, actually, and I was talking about your canvas, the, the one that you posted on the group today and how beautiful and just really soft and pink it was. I really noticed the pink in it. If you guys have never seen one of these, Irina makes these mandala canvases. I've got my whole set of them right here that I have it. I'm getting ready to hang up on my wall. She is really, really just channels this beautiful, beautiful energy into them. If you're interested in it, let me know. Arena, can you just post where they can get in touch with you if they want to order one of these? She will channel your energy and make one specifically just for you. 
They're very powerful. They're very activating. You can use them in meditation. You can just use them to increase the um, power in a room, in a space. Um, they're, they're really, really, really so amazing and activating. So I have a whole chakra set here. And then I also have one still actually in a box from when I moved, but it's um, it's a rainbow canvas also that she did for me. This one is one of my favorites. You can just see how the light moves on it. It's so beautiful. Um, anyway, so if you want to get in touch with her about that, Arena, if you want to put up your, your contact information, that would be awesome. <laughs> I swear I look at you and the top of your waterfall looks like a crown on you. That's funny. That's funny. I really love that tapestry back there too. Elizabeth, thank you for all your work in here. I really appreciate it. Snow White, Snow White. Thank you. Snow White, I'm going to pull a card for you, okay? Every time you come on here, I just want to, I want to plug her cards as well. This T Rose Oracle. If you want to get a hold of this deck, it's a really thick deck. There's a lot of cards in here and they're all like, they're all photos. They're all, and I'm a photographer. So I really resonate with, with pictures. They're really amazing and so different. They're different than a lot of decks that I've ever seen. And they just, I, they really, really, really speak to me. So if you guys want to get a hold of this deck, if you want to put your information up there and give them a, um, an email or something like that, that they can get in touch with you to order this deck, please go and support, support each other. This is, and it's, she sent these to me so that I could, so that I could um, get a feel for them. And, and I use them all the time. I just love them so much. They're so different. So if you guys resonate with these, Consider going over and, and purchasing a set of these two, okay? T Rose Oracle. T Rose Oracle. I think that she has an Instagram page, T Rose Oracle, maybe a Facebook page. I would I would um, Google that, T Rose Oracle. I'm gonna pull I'm gonna pull a card for you too for that. Oh, look at that, bearing fruit. That's the one that I was just talking about, the number 12 card. So number three, mind, body, and spirit. There's really just so fruitful. Your energy is very fruitful. There's a lot of, um, it's time to, it's time to bear fruit. It's uh, right now you are, you are in the middle of just such successful manifestation. You're manifesting a lot of things right now. That's what it feels like this it's just very feminine it's very feminine and you're you're majorly in your feminine energy right now and that is what's helping to birth this new reality for you to birth this um it's like a new abundant kind of reality harvest yes thank you brooke it's really gorgeous so kimberly that's for you okay Thank you for always reminding me, Lloyd. Yes. Okay, you're right. Elizabeth, I'm going to pull one for you, too. Thank you, babe. Okay, so for Arena, for the um, canvases, send her a message on um, MSN or email her at lookman.arena1 at gmail.com. And it's right there in the chat. So if you're watching this video back later, just go um, scroll through the live chat and get her email address right there. Again, it's L-U-K-M-A-N dot I-R-E-N-A one at gmail.com. Okay. And um, she just, she, there's so many more than this. It's just, there's some of them that are just so intricate and so um, all different kinds of colors. And she'll just channel what it is that you need, what, what you need, your essence. And again, we're supporting each other. We're supporting the collective. We're supporting each other's um, creative abilities and creative manifestations. We are helping that to the energy of that to spread. We're connecting nodes is what I'm hearing. Okay. Elizabeth, this one's for you, girl. Oh, this one flipped. Two of them. They're just like, I, I need to give her two. Roots of abundance. 
And again with the burst of magic. I'm just listening to the song right now. <laughs> Elizabeth, I just noticed this and I didn't notice this when I held it up before, but there's a key down here at the bottom and there's this teeny tiny little key hole right there. The roots, there's some sort of key it, hidden in the roots, hidden in your roots. And they're showing me the, the, the um, they're showing me ancestors. They're showing me bloodline, um, but also the earth star chakra. There's something, the key is hidden in the roots. That's what they want me to tell you. And it's the number two card. There's butterflies everywhere. But the thing is, it's not really that hidden. It's kind of in the shadows a little bit. It is down in the roots, but it's not deep. It's not deep. It's just like right there, just under the surface. And it has to do with this, a burst of magic. It has to do with, so that key is hidden just underneath the surface, just like a lotus flower is blooming out of the muck and the mud. There, It's sitting just below the surface. And um, in our circle healing that we had the other day, I'm pretty sure that Lloyd said that exact same thing, that that lotus flower is sitting just below the surface. It's right there. It feels to me like that's where the key is. The key is in that lotus flower. The key is in the, that feminine form, in the feminine. The key is in the feminine. That's what I'm hearing for you. Burst of magic. Wait a minute. I want to look it up too real quick. So we're looking in the, um, this is the crown chakra. This is the, the seventh energy center that we're talking about. A burst of magic. Okay, an epiphany, a sudden higher knowing, a sense that everything has a purpose. Your purpose as a gift bestowed, <laughs> your purpose as a gift bestowed upon you. Cultivating conscious contact with a higher power. Coming to know what calls you and lights you up. Sometimes you may find that something you've been pondering or a dilemma that you'd you'd let go of revisits you without warning. I think you know what this is, what that is that they're referring to. It may hit you while you're thinking about nothing or the trigger may just be the right words arising in a conversation, book or blog. An epiphany strikes like a lightning bolt, waking you up to a truth that has previously eluded you. It's as if the whole world stops in that moment as you integrate the missing pieces of the puzzle, the key you were meant to solve all along. This is such a time for you now. Answers are coming directly from source and being downloaded into you, just like we were talking about the other day, those diamond codes that are, that are being integrated, uh, that you're downloading right now, with such force of conviction that you cannot be the same again. Be grateful for this beautiful burst of magic. It is not an everyday gift. Inherent in this is the knowledge that spirit is always listening to you. Excuse me. Solar plexus clearing. Spirit is your loving partner, reminding you that you're not alone. Even when it appears that you, you are trapped, you always have a key to unlock the solution. So this is the card that I'm reading for, not the other one. But there's a key in this one, so they're, they're bringing both of them together. Even when it appears that you're trapped, you always have a key to unlock the solution if you cultivate the willingness to be open to and in tune with source. The answers you seek come when you stop looking for them. Be mindful today. So, so the other night, Elizabeth and I were talking back and forth. Um, we were we were texting back and forth, and we were both channeling at the same time. And I knew that we were downloading light that day. That we were receiving light codes, and it opened our channels were very very open, and all of the information was coming so quick. And we were you know we're conduits for each other's energy within that time period. There are times where that is happening and it's very strong. And then there are other times where we're not downloading as much light and the connection is not as powerful. Our channel is not quite as open as that. And those are usually the times where we struggle to connect a little bit more, where we try to connect a little bit more. We try to make sense of things or we try to piece the puzzle together. That trying, those trying, those trying times are not when the information is going to come in. Um, so that's part of the message is that those messages are going to come in when it's powerful, when it's, when they're meant to, when we download, they give us the information when we need it. And so trying to piece the things together outside of that, 
um, are just going to create a little bit of resistance to it. So just be open to allowing it in, in whatever timing it's meant to come in. That's for a lot of you, not just for Elizabeth. Um, be mindful today. When information pops up out of the blue, pay attention. The action you need to take will become obvious as you integrate this magical wisdom. Regardless of the subject of your inquiry, you'll be transformed. Only good will come of this. And this is on page 133. A little message from Jesus right there. So, all right. I hope that resonates for you, Elizabeth. Elizabeth, and it, it definitely has to do with um, it has to do with love. That's what I'm hearing. It has to do with love. There is a key. There is a key hidden in the darkness that is connected with um, a relationship. Relationship. That's what I'm hearing. Oh, and on the bottom of the deck is this, the royal you. Okay, the key, part of the key is in the gold. And the fact that you are royalty, you are a queen, you are a goddess, you are that. And you deserve nothing less than someone, the energy of, of worship, complete worship. Right? That's what they're telling me. This is your crown. Wear it. Okay. Did you see my post this morning? No, I didn't see that. I have to go back and look. Was it in the, um, the hawk's nest? I'm not sure which one you're talking about. Okay. Um, yeah, that was really beautiful energy. For you from the lights here. Okay. So Ben just posted that's for Karen and was meant for later. Sorry, no accidents. There are no accidents. So the energy of that whatever that reading is from that light series. And I love that deck too. I have that one too. Um, it's meant for someone in this group too. It's meant for, it's meant for here for right now. Page of wands, page of pentacles tied together by the wheel. If you want to put on there, what you get from that, you're giving these, everyone else in here, that same information too, not just me, because um, we're all that same energy right now. You guys are, we're all tied in by that similar vibration. So whatever the message is for me, there's something here for somebody else to extract too. So if you're open to posting, like what your interpretation is for that, feel free. Okay, Arena said, how do I send donation? I have some trouble with that. Um, you can either hit the super chat down at the bottom or you can click on the link for my website down below and just hit donate. I have a donate tab in the menu on my website. So you can always go over there and donate if you want to. It's just up to you. Um, okay. You're welcome. You're welcome, guys. All right, I'm going to get ready and go off of here. Arena, I'm going to pull a card for you right now, and I'm just going to have, I'm going to leave it there for you. Oh, this one, the Uncharted Sea. Okay, so number 46. So I read this card for somebody earlier, and they're wanting you to go back and watch where um, I read this for them. The message is pretty similar to what, what the message is for you. The message was for them. So go back and watch that too, and then take whatever else from this you resonate with right now. Uncharted Sea. There's somewhere that you're headed that you weren't expecting. There's, there's a place that you're headed that you weren't expecting. And here for you, it, it has to do with what I read from it the last time, but also in relationship, in relationship, you're entering uncharted sea. You're, you're entering an area that you hadn't expected. Be, be open to it. There's something new opening up for you. And it's, it's where you're supposed to be. That, that's where the gold is. It's something different. It's not what you were expecting. It's a different kind of relationship. It's a different person. It's uh, not what you were expecting. And it feels a little bit unsteady because... Because it's not what you were expecting, lean into it. Okay, that's for you. Okay, Ben said, okay, well, whatever you got going on that you could make money with a form of creating that you love, a passion, career, it's time now. You will have been turning it over in your mind. Okay, thank you, Ben. Thank you. And for whoever else that might resonate for, that message is for you guys too. And Ben, if you get any more detail in that and, and, and more detail about what that, um, 
that creative stuff is underneath of that, you can always just message me too. I don't mind for you to pull cards for me. Cause that sounds really, that sounds really good. That sounds really confident. And I would love to know more about that. Okay. I love it when people read for me. Um, okay. I gotta go. I love you guys. Romeo finally came in to say hello. He's, he's coming in because I'm tired and he's telling me that it's time to get off of here. I've been on here for an hour and 50 and um, he can tell that my energy is a little bit depleted. And so give your, give your animals a little bit of attention too, because they clear a lot of energy for you. Um, he's not just being needy right now. Now he's just, it, he's helping to clear my energy too. So I need to sit with him for a little bit. I need to give him my focus, allow me to, or him to give me his focus and um, really connect in with that so that I can, it's, it's a good way of grounding again too. So, all right. I love you guys. Talk to you soon. See you later.